Well, gang, Montrose has lost a great personality. She had only one name, Tiki. Sort of like Odetta, but Tiki wasn't very vocal. She used to come into a late-night punk bar like Rudd's all by herself. As far as the doorman was concerned, she was always on the plus-one friend list. She had clout. She was Tiki. She was there for the ambiance. If some 250-pound dude crunched on her foot in a crowded bar, she seemed to know that she was a smallish black dog in a low-lit pub and knew that it wasn't on purpose and got out of the way without giving so much as a peep. Occasionally, her human housemates would call the bar and tell the bartender that if she was there, to send her home. The bartender would spot her, call her name, open the door, and tell her to go home. And while not especially pleased about it, she would start trotting the couple blocks back home. When the little pups decided that she was going to play with them, whether she wanted to or not, she looked at them like a botanist looks at a strange but boring plant. When that didn't seem to stop the youngsters from cavorting around, she would bare her white fangs just ever so slightly. That would quiet them down. Great ladies don't go rolling around in the street with mindless children. If necessary, she would use the same tactics on older dogs who also lacked a sense of decorum, and likewise to great effect. Tiki was not one to overreact to human company, although occasionally her tail would give her away a little bit. But if she did want a little attention, she would come up behind you at the bar and gently rub the back of your calf with her paw, and maybe you'd scratch her ears and back in return. But mostly, she just liked being quietly thoughtful about something when she was around people. And while she won't be around people anymore, wherever she is, you can bet she's being quietly thoughtful. Being cheeky. Till next week, for Helga Beermeister, this is Drew Bradford. For more information, check us out at MontroseBeerAndGunClub.com. Thank you.